Johnson on the far side, Coach Cannon in the middle, and Cassineville here on the left. Coach, if you can open up the question. I mean, uh, opening statement. Question. That's a tough start. <laughs> great credit to Minnesota. A very good football team. They're three and zero coming in, and, and they played very well. Gave us a great challenge. Obviously, our thoughts are with their football team. Uh, they're going through a loss, and um, as we we know as well as anybody, how hard that could be. So. Our thoughts are with, with their football team, their football family for the loss they're going through, but they played very hard just like we all knew they would. Really proud of our players. They deserve all the credit. Got off the mat, had a tough one last week, we didn't play as well as we wanted to play. Uh, came back, played extremely well today, played very, very hard. Obviously a lot of things to clean up, there always are, but our players came back and played with great passion. They came out of the tunnel with great passion. I thought they came out at halftime with great energy. I thought they played very hard, played great team defense. We had a lot of guys get nicked up on defense, and that's always a challenge, but they can continue to step up. I mean, we only gave up three points in the second half. So great credit to them for stepping up, next man up. It's, it's a lot harder than it might sound to put, put in that many different guys, especially at one position. So really, really happy for our players. They deserve all the credit. And again, great credit to Minnesota. They're three and one. They're going to have a good year. They're playing very well. So we'll let these guys and guys ask these guys some questions. Questions for the players only. Right. Meyer Consulting Engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. Question for Trey. The difference defensively today, you guys held them to 5-16 on third down. What was the focus? And then I guess also if you could take us through your pick six, how the play developed, what you were able to take advantage of. Okay, so first, um, third down is big for us. Um, I believe we've been first in the conference, you know, for, through the first three games on third down. It's, it's a huge emphasis for us. We want to get off the field. But, I mean, guys just flew around and played with a lot of energy. I mean, we have dudes on this defense who can fly around and, and make plays at any moment. And you saw that from basically everybody on the defense. You saw that up front with Jesse uh, Byron making some big sacks. You saw that in the second level, Isaiah's making big hits. You know, I, I was fortunate enough to make a few myself. And then in the secondary, I mean, even when Savage went out, we had young guys come in and, and play great, you know, from the first snap in on. And, and that's that's what we preach as a whole, you know. It's, there's always going to be an opportunity for the next guy to step up, and, and everyone did that very well today. Um, as far as the pick, they had been running that um, that zone pop play on us a few times. They hit it on us on the, on the boundary earlier in the game. But it was something we weren't going to let happen again. And then I'm pretty sure that pick is all for Antoine Books. I mean, he's been lighting the quarterback up all season. I'm pretty sure he was the credit for my Texas interception as well. But he lit him up. And then, uh, I mean, the ball's in the air. It's got to be mine. That's, that's all of our approach as soon as the ball's in the air. So after that point, I mean, it was basically a free line to the end zone. Antoine cut uh, the quarterback off. And, I mean, no better feeling than being in the end zone for the team. For Kasim, how were you able to get into a rhythm so quickly, and how comfortable did you feel out there? Um, I just think that as the week progressed, we put together a great game plan, and we stuck to the game plan. The O line came out and played great today. Um, you know, the running backs were running very well. The receivers were getting open, and I just stayed in my lane and did my job, and you know, it ended up being a good start to the game. Time center. Uh, for the scene, how important was that fast start as you guys had uh, against Texas to, to jump out on them 14 nothing in terms of building confidence and getting the game going in the direction you wanted it to? I think with any game, you want to obviously get out to a fast start, try and get that momentum going. Um, especially coming off of last week as an offense, we were focused on starting fast um, and really just going out and playing and having fun. And I think we did that to start the game. It was great to see Ann get in the end zone. Uh, it was great to see the linemen, you know, play as well as they did today. The backs play as well as they did today, and the receivers play as well as they did today. Josh, are you here? For Trey, there were a couple times that you guys were backed up in the red zone, yet you stopped them on fourth down. Not only just stopping them, but forcing some turnovers. What's it like when you guys are pinned back there, and what's the mentality that helped you guys succeed? Well, being in the red zone, you know, the thing is you want to limit points as much as possible. In our, in our last three games, we hadn't been able to force field goals, so that was something we talked about, you know, throughout the week is we gotta, we got to turn those seven points into three at the most. And then when you're able to get a turnover on downs, I mean, that's huge. You know, Byron had the sack, forced fumble, and, you know, Ray gets the interception on the other fourth down play. I mean, those are absolutely huge plays. When you're all the way down there inside the red zone, you're expecting to give up, you know, some amount of points, you know, three at, at a minimum and then we get those type of stops, that, that changes the game. That gives the offense an opportunity to start over, start fresh, 
and just, just really keep the momentum going for us. You see, um, when, when the running game is going like it did today, how, how much uh, pressure does that take off you? And, and do you think that is kind of the, the key to getting this offense going and, and really establishing uh, you know, a lead and, and getting you in a rhythm? Um, I don't really think about it. It's taking pressure off of me. I think, you know, Coach Cannon says it a lot. You have to decide how you want to stop us. I think however we, you know, get a flow, get a rhythm, however that's working for us that day, I think, you know, all of us just want to win, whether it's running the ball, throwing the ball, whatever we have to do, whether defense is scoring points for us, whatever, we all just want to win. I think that's, you know, the biggest thing for us. Kasima, you got a couple of, uh, offensive linemen back in prominent spots this week. Just how big a week was it for, for them to kind of come back and, and kind of reinvigorate things? And, and just what was this week like for, for that unit? You know, the offensive line is a great strength for our team. Uh, it was great to see Durham back out there today. You know, the energy that he brings to the team, that he brings to the group. But I think we're very deep at the offensive line position, and we have a lot of people that can play. Last one for the players down in the back. Trey, coming here as a grad transfer, obviously you saw opportunity, but did you envision your role being as important as it's been? And, and how have you sort of flourished in that position with the two picks and the 15 tackles last week? Well, I mean, coming in, obviously, you know, I got to talk to Coach Barnes and everyone, and, you know, they, they laid out what was an opportunity for me to play in a role that I felt like, you know, I was comfortable in. It was similar to a lot of things I did in the past, similar to what, you know, I can see myself getting out of my skill set, and I mean, I certainly come in expecting to make an impact. I didn't, I didn't come here to sit on the sideline or to be a rotational guy. That's, that's just not my mentality. But I mean, being able to contribute is great. You know, I came here wanting to help a football team win games and get to a place that I haven't been in a really long time. And you know, I feel like so far I've been able to help the team do that, and that's that's what matters at the end of the day. Thank you, Stephen Trey. talked about how they, how you were going to be better uh, situationally coaching. Can you talk about what you did better this week as opposed to last week? Players played really good. I got out of the way. Coach, on the Trey Watson touchdown, something went awry and Maryland got a penalty and you seem to be quite upset. Can you tell us what happened on that exchange? I was just frustrated that we got another penalty. You know I can't comment about the penalties. That's a rule. So I'm sure it was a great call. And uh, <laughs> I don't think I've gotten that upset really. Of all the things I'm doing bad, I really haven't. I really pretty much contained myself. Contrary to what a lot of people who know me thought might happen with me being on the sideline. There's a reason I've never been on the sideline. It's like I'm in a cage upstairs. So. Um, it, I don't know. It was frustrating. We had a lot of penalties. I think it was probably was a good call after you explained what happened. So we had too many. As you look at that, you know, we had too many penalties. We got to get that cleaned up. So we'll work on that. That's on me. Andy over here too, right? Lorenzo Harrison warmed up and was on the sideline for most of that game. What's kind of his situation and why do you think it? He was a, well. We got a lot of great backs. It's a. It's a. You know. It's not a problem. It's a situation. Um, so. He, he was, he probably did not practice Tuesday full speed. He practiced limited Wednesday pretty good. Uh, we weren't sure where he was at. He was ready to play if we needed him. Um, obviously, the other guys were running the ball well. We had a pretty balanced first half. And obviously, not re injuring something and getting him to now have another week here to get healthy was a decision we made. Um, you know, if we needed to get him in, we would have played him. So he was kind of play as ready. But again, that's that position. We're so fortunate the depth we have. We don't have to put anybody out there, you know. He, and he was clear he could have gone, but we just felt like it was the best decision. I don't know. Dave Ginsburg, back up. Pat, to your left. Uh, could you just uh, tell us a little bit about the resiliency of this team? Uh, it's unbelievable. I mean, <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's not just These kids are special. <laughs> what they go through and how they came back, they're awesome. The kids are awesome. I am. I say I, we are so proud of our players and how hard they play and how hard they stick together and how hard they focus on each other. I, I don't think you know, somebody smart ought to do some kind of study on it because it's impressive. Don Marcus. 
Hey, Matt. Um, did, did you listen to Coach Novak's advice more this week? In terms, did, did his voice come in your head in terms of? Oh, I, I try to do it all the time. I called him last week. It just didn't work, Don. I mean, I, you know, we, we 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 stuck with what was working a little bit. Um, they did a nice job. Obviously, you know, games are fun. You know, when you when you can actually just get to the game, games are awesome because they do something, you have an answer. They change, you change. I thought there was some, you know, good back and forth through the game. I thought our staff did a tremendous job of of seeing the next play, and then. And then they tweak back, so then we tweak back. I mean, it's, and when they work, it's good. And again, as I said, and when they don't work, it's bad. So I thought uh, we, we, we had good balance. Obviously, in the game, we were running the ball. It was too bad. We had the, we got, we had the draw there with Pig, and, and he kind of tripped up there. I think that would have been a good play. So that was, that was a little bit of a, for him, I was, I was disappointed. I think he was going to go. He almost went on the, in, the, in the first half. He got into similar plays. But um, we try to call the ones that work. That's our goal. And just to follow up in terms of Trey's interception, uh, in terms of momentum, how big was that? It was, the fact? you know, it was huge. Obviously, to go out there, and, and I thought our guys came out excited to go play, but to, you know, to get a score on defense again. Anytime, anytime you can score on defense, it puts you in a great position, right? To, uh, you know, to, to play. And that the only negative was our defense had, then had to play a lot. Look at the time of possession, and and last week it was because we didn't do our jobs on our side. But this week we were scoring a little quicker. And then, and then they do a very good job, as I mentioned, uh, of holding the football. But I was really, really happy with, with our defense's effort. And again, as if, you know, with the injuries we had, guys stepping up, and that was a challenge. Over here to you, right? I see. You mentioned the fast start. As a coach, did you do anything to make sure that first drive, first score, first first down uh, happened quicker? I said all those things, you know. I mean, we didn't do anything. I didn't do anything different. I mean, we, we, you know, our players played really good. They deserve all the credit. Um, you know, I'm happy we got going. We made some plays. We had a big, I don't, I can't remember. We got behind the chains there on the first drive, right? And we had the third down. We caught and ended up being fourth a yard or two. And then we went for it. And um, again, you kind of who are who you are, right? You're either aggressive or you're not. And it felt like our kids wanted a chance to start fast, and we gave them that chance, and then went in and scored. So that was a big. Obviously, that could have gone. That could have gone the wrong way. And uh, and man, they had had the ball and. Probably held it for a long time. We'd have been having a different conversation. So that was a big play. Our kids did a great job. Peter in the right middle left. Yeah, Matt. Um, 432 yards total offense, only 15 first get downs, and we had 118 penalty yards, and they didn't have a penalty until midway in the fourth quarter. How do you look at those stats and, and make sense of it? Well, I, I look at I look at the, the penalties. As, you know, like, and we had those were when you look at our defense, how good they played. We did have some penalties. Um, that we have to look at, clean up. Obviously, however the game's being called, we have to you know relate to that. So I think we had a couple face masks, we had some pass interferences, we had the, the, the call in the end zone, like we had an offside. So um, we've got to do a better job of that, and it's on me. So we'll find a way to, to get that coach better. As far as the yards on offense, it just kind of went the way. We only had, we only had 51 plays. We had 52 plays last week at 51. We're like on a new track record around here with no <laughs> plays. Um, but this week, at least because we were scoring, right? So that was positive. Like I asked, seen a little bit earlier, how much of a how much of a help to get Darwin back and, and, and whatnot? And how different was that line this week, kind of taking care of its business for you? Um, you know, I, I mean, I think last week again, I don't think we, you know we just didn't play well enough. I didn't coach well enough, so I don't want to give it up. But it was great. I mean, it's great to have those guys back, right? It's great to have to have the line back playing and, and doing what we're doing. We still had a couple of linemen out again still. So, um, and Marcus was playing very well, and Marcus went down today. So, um, you know, we're, we're banged up, um, and obviously we're all trying to, our best to stay healthy and do everything we can do. So, but I, I thought, you know, I thought, we pl I thought we played with great passion. I thought we played with great energy. I thought we played with great focus. I think that's, the, 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 if you want to talk about this football team, their ability to, to keep their self-focused on things is really, really important. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Thank you.